Hi, in this video I will show you how to use Centrify Enhanced Sudo and some of its validators to add more meaningful information to your logs. But first let's talk about the problem. Typically when you are doing privilege elevation, Centrify basically provides privilege elevation by leveraging Active Directory to restore the roles and rights and uh, using Centrify Enhanced Sudo to, for privilege elevation. And uh, what's typically the problem? When you elevate, for example, right here, in which I'm going to restart the HTTP daemon, um, typically what happens is, you know, I, in, my, in my particular case, I have to put in my password, is that uh, just like sudo, uh, you know, actions are logged. Nancy, uh, with privileges as root, is able to, uh, was, was able to execute this command. This is great because Nancy does not need to know the root password, and you can combine this into a role in which he, she only has the commands that she needs to run uh, based on her business function. But from a, from a logging and security operation, basically when you have a system with multiple users that doing elevation all the time, there's not as much meaningful data that uh, comes with that. But Centrify provides something really cool. It's, the, it's uh, basically a validator that can be used with DZ do, which is, um, you know, uh, can be enabled by a group policy. For example, I'm going to enable it right here uh, as a group policy, and then I'm going to specify what is the validator, and my validator is the sample that we provide. Uh, just to show you a little bit about it, the sample is, um, you know, a simple uh, script that collects information about the user and just simply ask the user add a, a change control number to this. So if, if you're running an organization in which to run privileged commands, you need to have a change control number. This can, this can greatly enhance your uh, capabilities. This is a very simple script. You can do a lot of, you know, maybe you could just have, uh, have it query a database for valid change control numbers and, uh, you know, compare to the users that are around it. This is just provided as a sample. But let's look at it in action. The first thing I need to do is uh, update my, my group policies. So I'm going to run the ADGP update command. And that's going to basically, the, the GPLs that I just set up right here are going to be, um, you know, um, in, the, the parameters I'm going to put in, in the config file for Centrify. Now, let me just go back and uh, I'm going to uh, open the log here. Notice that it's even asking me for a control number right here. So I'm going to just uh, add one at random here. So um, let's say Na Nancy now wants to do the restart of the agents. When she does that, she's going to be prompted for a change control number. And, uh, and let me just, uh, probably the messages log is much more uh, Um, when when she's prompted, she all she needs to do is put in a valid control number, eight 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 nine nine nine, for example. And now uh, we've added a, an additional event here. And what it says is, uh, and just to highlight it, what it says is, um, you user user Nancy Adams will run this command as root based on this ticket right here. So. You know, very simple way to add more meaningful data to your um, to your logging operations, and I hope this helps.